Hi everyone, welcome to this course. So this is my first Angular course on YouTube and I'm so excited to be teaching this course. By the way, my name is Augustine. So let's talk a bit about what we are to expect in this course. So first off, this course wouldn't really be about HTML and CSS as I'm already expecting that um, you know this already, but just in case I'm wrong, that you actually don't know HTML and CSS and you are about to take this course, then I would advise you have some basic knowledge on HTML and CSS. And I have a whole lot of videos on my channel talking about HTML and CSS. So you can just go check those out as well. But in this course, I would be focusing majorly on Angular. So I really want to teach the main concept of Angular for us to focus on what Angular truly is. So I'm not going to be making like a full blown project in this course, but I'll be giving several examples. So this is just how this course is going to be structured. And of course, there are going to be different videos in this course and there's going to be a playlist. So this is obviously the first video on the playlist. And if you should check the description below, the link to the playlist is going to be in the description below. So if you should check this, you're going to see the entire series of Angular. I would be releasing this video bit by bit, so do ensure to subscribe to my channel to get updates on the next videos that I'll be releasing on this particular series. However, if you actually want a kind of a project um, approach to Angular, I would be releasing another course after this course that would be talking about building Angular application from scratch, and this is going to be a project approach like I'm just going to be building a project with Angular and you are going to be learning so many things from there as well. So the reason why I want to take the project away from this particular tutorial is to ensure that I can focus on the main concept of Angular itself without having some other distraction like HTML and CSS. Why in the project based approach, those will not be distraction because we are actually building a project. So I'm going to talk about the HTML side of it. I'm going to talk about the CSS side of it. I'm going to talk about the Angular side of it, but this particular course would still be much more detailed when it comes to Angular than that course. However, that course is going to teach you how to um, build your Angular application, how to think, well, how to think about how to structure your application what you should be looking out for, what you shouldn't be looking out for. And it's just going to teach the whole software engineering experience at large. So that's basically why I have decided to make these two things two different course entirely. So if you want to know when that um, particular course is going to be out here on YouTube, still remember to subscribe to this channel. And talking about subscription, I know that subscription doesn't really... Um, it's probably not really that important to you viewers because the YouTube recommendation system has actually done a very good job to make sure that they give you the video that you need. So technic speak, technically speaking, you somewhat don't need to subscribe, right? Yeah, that's true. But subscription actually means a whole lot to we content creator. So if you know you appreciate what I'm doing here, if you know that this course or this particular video is actually impacting you in any way, a subscription is your way of helping me to make more video. So I encourage you once again to subscribe to this channel. So that being said, let's move over to the main subject matter, which is Angular itself. So let's move over. Okay, so over here is the Angular official website. And while we're talking about Angular, it only makes sense that we move into the um, Angular official website. But before we start talking about what this website can do for us and what this website cannot do for us, let's take a look at Angular first. What exactly is Angular? According to this text written here, it says that um, the modern web developers platform. So that's just very, very, um, that's like a one-liner to me. So I'm going to explain Angular um, in a better way. So I would say that Angular first is a JavaScript framework, or we can call it a TypeScript framework because Angular technically uses TypeScript. But generally speaking, we can still say it's a JavaScript framework for building modern web application. And when we talk about web application, we're talking about web application that's going to run on a computer, tablet, or a smartphone 
We're talking about, uh, you can also use Angular for building mobile application using some other third party um, framework as well. But that's not what this particular course is all about. But just know that if you have a strong knowledge of Angular, you can also advance your knowledge towards building mobile applications as well. So this is why Angular is actually so great. And I did mention that Angular is, um, is a single page application and you probably will be wondering what exactly does that mean? So I'm going to explain it this way. Um, single page application just simply means in Angular, we technically have only one page and every other thing is just a manipulation within, within that page. But if you don't understand that theoretically, let me show you because that's the answers of video in the first place. So this is a single page application and over here you can see another tab here which is Wikipedia. Now Wikipedia is a multi-page application. So a multi-page application is the exact opposite of a single page application. And I will show you why Wikipedia is a multi-page application now. Now I want you to take a look at this um, icon here at this button over here. So when I come over here, I will select English as my language. Take a look at what's happening here. When I select English, can you see that this icon actually changes sign? Now, it simply means that this particular website is loading up another page. And if you observe, let us see how long that takes. I will go for um, Espanol and you can see how long it takes. It takes, uh, you can see this as well. It takes probably, I'm not really counting, but probably about seven seconds now or eight seconds or nine seconds or 10 seconds. Now you can see how everything just keeps um, loading gradually and this is me with um actually good network and in a situation whereby i have a very poor network that could take longer than usual so this is why a single page application actually makes sense because we technically don't have those sorts of experience in a single page application all this um loading experience that when i click this it's loads i have to wait 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 for the next page to load up and now the let next page is up now. So we don't have this experience in a single page application. This is only happening because this Wikipedia is a multi-page application. Now let's take a look at Angular. In Angular, we have some, um, the Angular documentation, and by the way, the Angular documentation was built with Angular. So in the Angular official documentation, we have some menu here, and I'm going to click on the docs. Now, can you see how that loads up instantly? And I want to take a look at this particular icon again when I click on features. Now, can you see that there is nothing loading up here? There is nothing spinning here. And that is because everything is loading up in real time. So how is this happening? This is happening because Angular is a single page application. Everything is just one page, but we are just changing the contents of the page based on the request that we have made. And the request is actually when we navigate from one URL to another URL. So this is just actually how Angular behaves. And that is uh, um, what a single page application means. So I did mention that Angular is built on TypeScript. I'm going to explain that in a bit, but before then I'd like to say this, because this actually comes up a whole lot. So if you've heard about Angular, you probably would have heard about Angular and then AngularJS. So Angular and AngularJS are not the same thing. They are two different frameworks, totally different. So before we go to talking about AngularJS, I just want to pinpoint something that would be helpful here, here, and that is actually the fact that Angular is actually built by Google, by a team on Google. So it's actually powered by Google, and Google maintains this particular application. So the very first time that Google built this application, it was called AngularJS, and that was basically the name because it uses JavaScript. So, but this new Angular now, uses TypeScript. So the JS, which means JavaScript, was actually removed and leaving us with just Angular. So I I assume that Angular doesn't want to name it Angular TS. So types TS means TypeScript, by the way. So maybe they don't want it to be tied to be tied to a specific language like they did for that of the Angular JS. So instead of calling it Angular JS or instead of calling it Angular TS, they just simply call it Angular. So What's the major difference between AngularJS and Angular and Angular? It's simply because Angular uses um, TypeScript and AngularJS uses JavaScript. But aside from that, there are a whole lot of additional feature that comes around, that comes with um, 
the modern angular which is which makes it much more superior to angular js and angular js is at the time of recording this video it's actually deprecated so there is actually no point for you to learn angular and if you have an application or you know anyone whose application is running on angular js you can just simply advise the person to rewrite the application in angular which is actually not an easy thing to do so it's a good thing that you're actually learning Angular at this particular time because as of now, we are currently on Angular 14. And Angular 14 is a kind of a very, very good Angular version. Angular is super stable for you to use to build any sort of web application. So let's take a look at the, a bit of the version history of Angular. So when you go to the documentation, you come over here. So you can see that from the version two, Angular had been called Angular. Now the version one of Angular is actually what is actually called Angular JS. So when we talk about Angular JS, we're definitely talking about the version one. But from version two, Angular JS was rewritten to become Angular, and that's why we have it showing over here from version two. Version three was kept for some reason, best known by Google, and here we have the version 4, 5, 6, and Angular had been progressing steadily up to version 13, and now we have the stable version, which is actually the version 14. So this is actually the kind of the next and the futuristic version, just in case you want to try some unstable version of Angular. But in this tutorial, what we would be teaching is Angular version 14, and that is actually so awesome. So, that being said, remember I actually said that this is the official documentation of Angular, and this is a website that would really be useful to you, just in case you need some extra information. So every single thing you need to know about Angular is basically in this um, the Angular official documentation. But the Angular official documentation could, to some people, not be the best way of learning. Angular team have actually done a very good job to make sure they actually document every single thing on their official website. So this is a very good resource for you to learn. And I'm going to be adding the, the link to this particular website in the description. So I'm making this video for you all who are visual learners. And just in case you want to have a better understanding of what this documentation is all about than this video is actually for you. So without wasting much time, let's move over to the next video where we are actually going to start using Angular and let's just get started with it to see what Angular can do for us. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.